The first part of an American Mahjong game is the Charleston. The Charleston is when players pass three tiles to each other up to seven times. The purpose is to improve the starting hand exponentially because instead of just picking one tile at a time, you get three at a time. Decision making is critical and it can really set you up for the next phase of the game where players pick and discard one tile at a time. If you're new to the game and you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try if you want to build your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice just to randomize which player we are. I rolled a seven, so we're going to be player three. We'll get 13 tiles and then I will create a mock Charleston with no jokers. For these tiles, we have a flower, single dots, odds. We have lots of bams with evens and a little bit of a run, short run, and a two five in cracks. We have one multiple with the four. So for this set of tiles, what would you play? And what would be your first pass? If I were playing these tiles, I would play either evens or consecutive run if we don't get an eight. So I would hold even tiles two through six. And that even gives us tiles we can pass. We're going to hold two through six. We'll either play evens or consecutive run. We got an eight and we have odds. I would not pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair in my opinion. So I would make a choice. We do have two, four and an eight, but no six. We have four, five and a five four, five, and a five. I think I would probably give up the two at this point. Maybe pass those three. Let's see, four, five, four, five, six, two, four, six, eight. We really don't need both fives. I think I would go ahead and just pass these, give ourselves options to build. We've got an eight. Now we have two, four, six, eight, no gaps. Because of that, I think I would focus there. Give up all the, all the odds, keep two, four, six, eight. So let's pass one of each suit. Here's an even. We have tiles to pass, so we do not have to pick a hand. You don't need to slow it down to look at the card. Just pass whatever tiles you know you don't need. We don't need these if we're playing even, so don't slow down the Charleston by trying to figure out what hand you're gonna play. Just pass the tiles you know you don't need. All these we don't need. We still don't have to pick a hand. Here we got an eight and we still have tiles we can pass. So we're just gonna keep gathering evens and pass tiles we know we don't need. We don't need any of these either. We're gonna pass those. There's a two. So now we have three tiles we can pass and we have all two, four, six, eight here. So let's just pass these.
we did get an even, but we have multiples here, two, eight. I think what I would try here is the mixed suit hand, two, eight, four, six, pair of flowers, Kong, pair, pair, Kong. And then these would be discards, but probably I would hold these for a uh, plan B if for whatever reason these don't come through. I would probably start by discarding those and play the mixed suit hand under evens with a pair of flowers. I believe this is the fourth hand down. Fourth hand down under evens. Pair of flowers, Kong, pair, pair, Kong. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull one and what you would have done with these tiles. This time we're going to be player one since I rolled a five. I'll get 14 tiles this time. Jokers, single west, single dragon, two, four, nine, pair twos, six, nine, and four, five, nine, singles. So if this were your starting hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If I were playing this hand, I think I would try either a year hand or two, four, six, eight. So I would give up the dragon, keep the two, nine, and I'd keep the six. There is a year hand with wins, so I would keep the west. There's a year hand in mixed suits, so I would probably keep those. So just by process of elimination, we have those to pass. I'd probably pass those three first. Focus on two, four, six, eight, in which case maybe we should keep the four. Two, four, six, eight. Let's give up one of the nines. We'll pass these three. There's an eight. Two, four, six, eight, no gaps. We have tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. We got a white dragon and a south year hand. We could use these to help with the ones and the white dragon. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Let's go ahead and focus on the year category. We've got dragon and, oh, we picked up the six. Look at that. Six, eight, two, four, two, four, six, eight. That's three tiles as opposed to one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and continue to focus on the year news with year tiles. Let's pass these three. Nine and two. Maybe we could switch to like numbers with twos. Break up the six. 
we kind of have the same number of tiles because we can use this in like numbers with twos. We have no two dot though. Let's stick with the year and pass the two. We got a nine dot and a six. Here's a three. We could maybe switch to two, three, dragon, consecutive run. Here's the challenge. We have like numbers and a nine. Let's give up the three and pass one of each suit. There's a flower and a three and a north. We almost have news. I think I would stick with that. Pass these three. We got nines back. Lots of three, six, nine in there. But I think this year hand is totally workable. And I think two, four, six, eight would have worked. And I also think consecutive run would have worked. This game is very flexible. If you would have done any of those other categories, right? In the comments section, pull two. And if you would have played something other than the year hand with news. I rolled a six this time, so that means we're going to be player two. We have a joker, pair of flowers west, two, three, two, three, three, four, seven, pair of fours, seven, bam, one, two, three, pair of twos. So if this were your starting hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my dealt hand, I think I would focus on consecutive run. Two, three, one, two, three, four. But we have a pair of flowers. I think I would maybe see about getting a three bam. Two, three, four, consecutive run, mix suit Kongs. So in this particular case, to use these flowers, I think what I would do is give up the one maybe the three instead because we could do one two three mix suit Kong or one suit Kongs I think I would give up the three try to see about building up here or getting a three bam we can always use this for the three bam so let's see what happens with this pass. Three bam, right there. We have tiles we can pass, so we're gonna just gather consecutive run. One through four. No keepers here, and we have like numbers, sevens. I would not do that, I would whittle this down. Let's give up, let's give up two, three, four consecutive Mix suit Kongs. We could pass the one, but that would be a little risky for a potential year hand. Let's pass those three. Flower. We really don't need it for two, three mix suit Kongs. Let's pass these three. We've got a two, two, three, four mixed suit Kongs. 
I would pass these three. No keepers this time. Oh, no keepers this time. I'd break that up a little bit. Optional cross. Whoa, we got Joker bait. I would discard those, keep that as long as possible. And I would play two, three, four mixed suit Kongs. Third hand down on the right. Hold this as long as possible. Maybe middle of the middle game, discard one. Someone makes an exposure with a Joker and we'll use the second one to get a Joker. That's called Joker Bait, coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. Look for a link in the video description below for some demonstrations on how that works. It's hit or miss, but it's fun to try to get a Joker in your hand. So if you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull three in the comment section below and what you would have done with these tiles. One of the interesting things about American Mahjong is that it's very flexible, especially the consecutive run category. You have 10 categories on that card and they all share the same tiles here and there. If you build around the strength of your hand, whether it is building around multiples or building around the predominant pattern and you pick a category to focus on, you really don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards and that allows you to stay flexible. When you run out of discards, then whittle out your options until you're forced to pick a hand and then focus on that hand and take it to a win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.